Hey guys, welcome back to another Coding Flamingo video. Hola amigos, bienvenidos a otro video de Coding Flamingo. As, as you can see, a lot of people can speak multiple languages and so should your Blazor application. If you're gonna develop something for this globalized world, there's gonna be a point where someone is gonna ask you to have your application in a different language. And it's important to start since the beginning because if not, there's gonna be a lot of code change. So in this video, we're gonna go and see how you can add as many languages as you want to your Blazor application. And as always, all the code is um, in my GitHub and I'm actually gonna link the straight link into this commit where it has every single thing that I change in this application to make it work. So now let's jump back into it. Um, so as I mentioned, I already kind of did it. I'm just gonna walk through it. First thing we have to do is in the client application. So in the Blazor client, we're gonna install the Microsoft extensions localization. And as you can imagine, that's the Nugget packages that will allow you to do localization. And then we're gonna go to the program and we're gonna add the builder that services that add localization. And then we have to create our localization file. In this case, I actually created it in our class library. The reason for that is you want to create it kind of like in the thing that everything depends on. So in this case, since we have a class library where our components are going to be, we are going to create it there. And I just created a resources folder. And in here, you're going to add every single language you do. So in here, we're just going to add one in Spanish. So our application can speak Spanish now. So we're going to go and do add new resource file. We're going to do the same name. And we're going to do .es so it knows automatically that it's Spanish. And then we're going to do the same. In here, the access modifier, we're going to make it public so everybody in this application can access it. And in here, we just have to copy all the different things and translate them. So in here, we're going to be hello world, hola mundo. So once we have our resource files, we have to add them to our imports. So here I added the using Microsoft extensions localization and the razor class library dot resources, which is the namespace of where I put my where I put my files. This would change for wherever you put yours. Now it's as simple as since we already added it as a service that is being injected, we just have to inject it into our page that we want to use it. And it's just I string localizer the resource you want to use. So in this case, we called it application resource and uh, I just called it localizer. So then in here, I just do add to let HTML know that this is a Blazor variable, localizer, then hello world. And the cool thing of how this works is it goes to the language where the browser is in. If there is nothing there, it'll go to your default file. And then if there's nothing there, it'll go to whatever you put here. So we're going to run this. And I made this browser in Spanish so you could see that it goes to Hola Mundo. Then we're going to just grab the same. I'm just going to open a new tab in my regular Chrome that it's in English. And you can see it changes to Hello World. So that's how you add localization to your Blazor application. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.